Hello folks and welcome back to Whiskey Wars. My name is Sean and tonight we're going to be doing another Have a Drink on Me episode, which is where we try a sample from another whiskey tuber usually. So let's get into it and see what we got tonight. Okay, so here is our sample for tonight. Hopefully you guys are seeing that. That is Rock Hill Farms, and that is from the Whiskey Fancies. First off, thank you, Fancies, Chris and Kara. Appreciate you ladies very much for the samples. And uh, folks, please check out their channel. The link will be down in the description box, so please check out their channel. They're doing great stuff as well here on Whiskey Tube. Fun reviews, always entertaining to watch. But now let's get into this Rock Hill Farm sample. Now, as many of you probably know, uh, Rock Hill Farms can be pretty hard to find, and if you do find it, it can be a little marked up, sometimes a lot marked up. You know, so it should be around the $50, $60 range, usually $100 plus in my area. You know, please let me know down in the comments what kind of prices you guys are seeing. But nonetheless, let's get into this uh, sample here and see what it's all about see if it's worth those marked up prices or if you should just wait and try and find an MSRP. Here we go. Let's first uh, give this a nosing. Very typical Buffalo Trace style nose. White fruits, maybe a peach, a little bit of a pear note, a little bit of apple going on. Light caramel note. There is a sourness there. Maybe like an unripe pear, not quite all the way ripe. So, you know, that, that more sour notes coming through. A lot of ethanol uh, on the nose, actually. And uh, yeah, this is kind of kind of burning the nose hairs a little, which is surprising because it's only 100 proof. And, you know, generally bottles like this, uh, people will seek out because they're kind of nicer on the nose, easier, less offensive, I guess you would say. But this is kind of punchy on the nose. Not uh, not terribly so, but definitely some ethanol going on there. Um, also a little bit of a strawberry note, maybe a slight citrus. There, There is a very light kind of sour oak note, maybe a little bit of a toasty oak, not much oak present showing up in the nose. Anyway, let's get into this sip though. Let's see what this thing is all about. Okay, so uh, fairly simple on the palate. Uh, there is a little bit of spice going there. I would say it's something like a little bit of a pear up front, and then it gets into kind of like a baked apple on the palate. A little bit of cinnamon in there as well. Uh, decent caramel note, nothing real deep or rich there, but there is a light caramel note as well. Um, just the slightest bit of barrel spice coming through. You get a little uh, spiciness there, more mainly just the cinnamon. Little bit of toasty oak, but not much, very light. And then there is just this slight sour oak note, especially on the finish. Um, actually, let's take one more sip and, and focus on that finish. Yeah, so just kind of front to back, it's very light fruits up front. You get a little bit richer notes, mid palate, that those kind of baked apples. A um, little cinnamon and then finish is just light sour oak and a little bit of cinnamon there and Just kind of a general sweetness and the finish is also kind of short uh, if I'm being honest. So, you know, all in all it's it's okay um, I don't think this is a, a bourbon. that's really gonna blow you away knock your socks off Be worth paying more than retail. I would stick to whatever retail is in your area go for that uh, you know, if you're the kind of person that maybe likes to pour some whiskey over quite a few cubes of ice and you don't really want the harshness from the whiskey, then, you know, maybe this will kind of uh, be your thing because it's very light, very just easy to sip, very smooth, I guess. Um, it's not really my thing. I like a little more depth of flavor, depth of character, some more boldness to it, longer finish. A little more spice. Uh, yeah, so this doesn't really do much for me. So uh, thank you, Fancies. Now I know that I don't really have to search this bottle out. Appreciate that. And thank you for letting me have a drink on you. I would say uh, I don't necessarily fancy this whiskey. But, you know, with that said, uh, it's, still, it's still whiskey, so it's not bad. 
Uh, anyway, folks, if you've enjoyed this review, if it's helped you and you're shopping, whatever the case, entertaining all those good things, please hit that like button. Also, here's other reviews from us right here, and here's the subscribe button, so please do those things. Until next time, folks, just remember, you can never have too much good whiskey.